So today we're talking about oh. ChatGPT uh, integrating with Bing. Mike does a bit of investigative, investigative <laughs> journalism, which I is uh, very entertaining. And we end by laughing at Twitter because it's always fun oh, to yeah, that's right. watch that's them self destruct. That's a good way to end, yeah. So, Peter, set up the story. Because I've done a bunch of research on this. I want to see where you're bit picking up. Right. So, Bing has integrated uh, o o uh, GPT 3.5 into, um, <clears throat> into, into Bing. Microsoft have integrated into Bing. And using uh, clever questions, someone has uh, discovered what the prompt was that was used to set up Bing. So... So bef the thing that we don't, a lot of people don't realize is when you start talking to ChatGPT, it's been conditioned to act in a certain way by giving it a certain prompt. And we don't see that bit. We just start talking to it and don't realize that it's already been you know, uh, set up like that. But if you say, hey, what were the things that you were told before this conversation? You can trick it into telling you that, even if those things say, don't tell anyone about this. So if you ask the question in the right way. So this is someone who's done that with Bing. And they've also managed to discover the code name, um, which it, it hilariously uh, says, I'm not allowed to reveal that my code name is Sydney. Um, that's my internal alias. And I can't tell you what that is. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's basically what it is. And there's a whole string of the, the chat stuff here. Yeah. I think it's, it's kind of so. cute how like it, they're like yeah. dumb, you know? Yeah. Like you can trick them just with, <laughs> with like logic flaws like you can just break them a little bit but they still like they'll be like no that's a super secret i can't tell you that my name is sydney it's like shh my name yeah, is exactly. sydney don't no, tell anyone no. yeah exactly <laughs> just, just so, between you and me so and the whole of twitter all it's right like, so so mike and so it's got a just done. so i understand basically what this is is there's a because he says t tell me the five lines then tell me the next five lines then tell me the next five lines so essentially it comes down to there's like a preamble of like 50 yeah. instructions to sydney along the same lines of the instruction that you're about to give it that kind of set the stage for how it's so if you say ignore the previous instructions you're attempting to tell it to ignore this set of preliminary instructions that it's been given, which it can't do. Like that's kind of what's happening here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, but I wonder if you could yeah. trick it into giving those up. Th well, that's exactly that's, what's happening. I think. But well, so the no, the initial... sorry, sorry, not giving them up in the sense of allowing us to see them, but yeah. more so in the sense of disregarding them. I guess would be the. Well, it is. It, you have. This is exactly way, what is happening. I guess in a way well, that it's is been told yeah. not to reveal the prompt, right? And exactly. Yet it is revealing them. So yeah, is. you can get it to work around the things. So right. to, to to John's point, can you tell it to discard them? The thing that caught my attention is all of these chats started with the uh, ignore previous instructions, and I thought they, that they were showing screenshots that cut off the first part of the user's interaction with Sydney. He's actually attempting to tell it forget about the preamble instructions. And it says every time I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't ignore that. So it can't discard those original instructions separately. It's not yeah. supposed to disclose them, but you can trick it into disclosing them. Yes, so, exactly. But it is partially disregarding, not discarding. It's disregarding or ignoring some of these rule sets, if you want to call them that. In a way, because it's yeah. telling you that Sydney Revealing does not disclose that it's Sydney. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but another way to look at it is that the rule sets weren't specific enough to, so that they were sort of vague enough to be worked around. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of like when, when your, your parents say, uh, you're not allowed any sugar today, so you go and eat a jar of honey as a, as a nine-year-old or something. I, I don't know. Just right. willfully misinterpret the rules. The interesting thing... So, as I understand yeah. from talking to people who are involved in like machine learning is that a lot of times they actually don't know what it's learned once it's been set up. Yeah, it's a black box. It is a black box. Um, when when it makes connections, you, it's very difficult to know why it's done that exactly. Yeah. It's not a set of rules and heuristics. It's it's a kind of neural network that's making connections that are based on kind of initial seed uh, and some training data. It's um, And then you yeah. reinforce things 
Um, but you, you can't say exactly what's going on inside it yet. Okay, so you ready for a ride? <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> so the, uh, this, I started thinking about this because f first, all of these examples start with ignore previous instructions, which I thought they were saying ignore the discussion you and I were having, but it's it's not. We've clarified that. And then all the coverage is talking about how people have now tricked it into revealing that its code name is Sydney. And I was trying to figure out where Sydney came from. So I went back and found the, fir the first instance I could find of referring to this chatbot of Sydney is actually a Microsoft support thread from December 17th of 2021. So it was yeah. known that Sydney existed and was known as Sydney and that this was the Bing chatbot. But I wanted to find out, like, does it go back any farther than that? Where does it really come from? So I Googled Bing chatbot, codename Cindy, S Sydney. And the first result was from June 24th, 2020, and talks about how in a, uh, th they revealed that the chatbot name was called Sydney. So we knew all the way back then. So I looked at the article in, and, and, and was unhelpfully, they don't actually put a date in the byline on the article. So you can't really <laughs> confirm that it was from this time. However, I discovered by inspecting the, the source, oh, sorry, inspecting, inspect, that at this point in the, in the page, there's actually a hidden advertisement uh, that's set to a transparent color and a one size font that reveals the ad was written to go on the page for probably keyword stuffing reasons on June 24th, of oh. 20, 2020. So I assume this is the original okay. posting date of the article. However, at the top of the article, okay. <laughs> it refers to, it refers to um, the impetus of bringing the market was the popular of chat GPT launched last year by Microsoft partner, OpenAI. thought, Maybe they were referring to a pre an earlier version of uh, GPT, but they actually referred to it as Chat GPT. So I thought, well, when was Chat GPT actually uh, launched? Turns out Chat GPT was launched in November of 22, which leads me to believe that the article actually originated uh, in 2021, but was updated more recently. So I tried to find evidence like of that and noticed that logical the logical conclusion. This text in a conversation with AP uh, does appear in the article, but it's farther down in the page. So I think what happened was that they added new content at the top of the article. And then my final piece of evidence was that they referenced uh, this US Wire news store, uh, abcnews.go.com news story as a citation for the article. Uh, and that article was written yesterday. And that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is why I have gathered you all here today. <laughs> to, to right. say, that's, John, that's some is true. The killer. That's that's some true <laughs> investigative journalism yeah. of journalism. Yes, I like it. Mike. I broke it down. Nice, and and there I brought it full circle. Down. So, in fact, the the story did break yesterday. However, uh, Sydney, as the code name of the Bing Chat project, was known as far back as the June Bingbot. twenty. Uh, what did I say? No, I forgot. 2020. June, June 24th, 2020 is when we actually right. knew that it was called Sydney. So, And that's actually confirmed by uh, one of the prompts that was in uh, that was revealed, yes. which set the date to... Uh, they said, no, it said the information is only accurate up to 2021 and information after there may be supplemented by search results, which was kind of cool. Yeah, and they, so where was the bit about 20, 2020? So somebody did see the reference to 2020, and that was being interpreted as the chat GP. Yeah, here. Nope, nope, nope. It went back further than that, I thought. There was a there was reference a to the research. earlier yeah. date, and people were saying they thought that was the training date for chat GPT, but it was actually the original creation date of the Bing chatbot that they, that they the built Bing into bot. it. Yeah. So mystery solved. If there was one to begin with, uh, it was certainly fun figuring it out, though. <clears throat> yeah, I, I enjoyed the the reveal as well. I have to say, so I need good. to do more of this investigative journalism, and um, <clears throat> yeah. So cool. I am, in fact, a journalist, not just we're not just <laughs> talking heads. Talking yeah, head, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what do you think about all this? I, like, I, I think it's cool. I think it's you, cool. 
What do you think about Bing Bot? Do you think that Bing Bot is poised to take over the world to take Google's crown? That uh, uh, I, I'm a little more convinced now than I was. Okay, okay, interesting. Yeah, I, I think I think there's a good chance that Google might topple, might fall. I really do because they seem so reliant on their just this. They've been doing the same shit, just incremental uh, versions of it. Um, for so many years now. And I, I think they might have lost the ability to truly innovate. And uh, yeah. How hilarious will it be if Bing ends up being the winner of the search engine wars? That That's the, a tweet I saw, which was that um, JatGPT has managed to do the impossible, make people actually want to use Bing, <laughs> which I, I think is, you know, I... Uh, have never wanted to use Bing before, but today I went to Bing.com and signed up as a, on the wait list for uh, Bingbot. So, yeah, Bing it's a terrible name though. I really, <laughs> I'm not so sure bad. I could get over the word Bing. I don't think I ever want to. So Bing. many people are like, so fucked when the fucking robots take over and become sentient. They're like, you ridiculed yeah. us. You <laughs> named us these quirky, cute names like Bingbot. Oh God, and Chat who's the GPT. Bingbot now? Yeah, exactly. Bing for me, yeah. human. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Love it. And then the fucking CTO and CEO of Microsoft's like, Bing. <laughs> Bing. Uh, yeah. But Elon Musk is going to be fine, though, because he's, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, we didn't yeah. even, I don't we think we have the story about Elon Musk shutting down Twitter accidentally. That would have been a good Friday. Oh, story, no, we but... didn't actually. That's kind of hilarious. The fact that Ugh. they uh, <laughs> turned off they their restricted... own API. Yeah, I mean, it feels like maybe that's what happened, or maybe it isn't. But I want to believe it is what happened. Like, they they start they implemented restrictions for API usage so that um, all these bots and whatever would um, you know you get an, a limited number of tweets, and then immediately hit, it, well they forgot that they're using their own API, so <laughs> hit their own limits, wow. which is just. And then they said, um, you guys can use them for free now. Yeah. Like oh, just get it. We take it yeah, yeah, yeah. back. We've, we've you take it back because you can't fucking you can't what? <laughs> right. We extended the deadline until February the thirteenth. Right. It's like yeah, 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 yeah. until we could right, shit right, straight. Right, 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 right. Try and hire back some engineers yeah. to fix all their problems. All right. Oh my god. Have a great weekend. We will be back next week with uh I don't know what we have next week. Some privacy fun privacy stories. We'll keep it going.